Hello there my fellow sim racers, this is Sim Rig Racing and today's video I'm going to show you how to quickly, simply and easily add modded content to Automobile Lister 2 by Reza Studios. And it's all thanks to the fantastic modding community. First of all, to get the ball rolling, we're going to need to download some software and of course some mods. So don't worry, all the links to the web pages that I'm about to show you will be in the description so you can follow along and download the stuff as I go. First of all, go over to the Overtake website, formerly Race Department, and uh, check out the Automobilista 2 Content Manager app. This is going to bridge the gap between the mods that we download and AMS2. You may need Microsoft.NET uh, 6.0 software as well. It will let you know during the installation process if you need it, but it's only a small little program, so it might just be worth your while downloading it and having it ready. Next up, you need to find some mods. Now, I really enjoy the mods that uh, Thunderflash puts together. He has his own little website and uh, YouTube page. As always, links will be in the description. And he has a uh, like a Google Drive all full of all the relevant mods and all the latest updates to work with the latest versions of AMS2. Now, for this particular example, we are going to pick a little tin top, a Renault Clio. So download that, put it into the same folder that you downloaded the AMS2 Content Manager app into. That's all the software sorted. Now we're going to install the app and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to transfer that into AMS2. So we've got all the software and all the mods that we want downloaded and ready to rock. So first things first, let's install the Content Manager app. It's pretty simple, but there is one step that you do need to pay attention to, and it's coming up right now. This Content Manager app must be installed in your Automobilista 2 root folder, which will be contained within the Steam folder. So we'll just browse to where we've got our Steam folder. And for me, it's da -da -da -da, Steam apps, common, Automobilista 2. So that's now going to install Content Manager in my Automobilista 2 root folder. It's, you've got to do this to get it to work. This is the most complicated step. So we hit next, hit install. It's going to quickly install. It's not going to prompt me for Microsoft.NET 6.0 software because I've already got that particular piece of software installed. But if you do need it, it will prompt you to download it and install it as you go. And then you just go back and install the Content Manager app. And that is the app installed with a shortcut on your desktop. The final part of this little guide will be how to install the mods. And trust me, this is the simplest bit of the process so far. So after double clicking on the content manager icon on our desktop, we're greeted here with a blank screen. But don't worry, we're gonna populate this with our modded content. So I've got my Renault Clio zip file, so I'll simply drag it across into the content manager app. And it's as simple as that. I hit apply, It's now going to install that mod for me, putting all the relevant files in all the relevant folders so it just works. And then we simply hit close when it's finished and we get a little tick up there. We now have our first mod installed within Automobile Lister 2 using Content Manager. And it is as simple as that. Next, all we do is fire up the game, find the car, and get out on track. So here we are in Automobilista 2 in the main menu. And what we're simply gonna do just to test things out is go to the test day, select the vehicle, scroll down the list, as you can see all the way up. And hey presto, there are the Clio cups. We can now select them, check out all the liveries. Everything's there, everything we want. And that's it. It's as simple as that. There is the Renault Clio Cup 
with the livery of our choice all ready to go racing with and of course where else am i going to race them but up my favorite circuit for little cheeky tin tops alton park next thing we'll see is our little cleo out on track is as they say that as simple as that we've gone through the process of downloading the software installing the software finding the mods and installing the mods and it really is a matter of minutes to get everything sorted everything up and running and just a big shout out to the sim racing modding community to providing the software and the mods for us to have even more fun with our sim racing titles so that's it. That is how you install mods into AMS2. Please feel free to ask any questions and I'll try and answer them the best I can. And again, remember, all the links for the stuff shown in this video will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful. If it is, why not give me a cheeky little thumbs up? And in the meantime, have fun out there. Happy sim racing. And I'll see you out there. Bye-bye.